With these holiday seasons rapidly approaching and the American tradition for a holiday like Thanksgiving, we often eat too much, drink too much, fight with each other, and then cry about it the next day or for the following week and spend about a week recovering from it. So it doesn't necessarily have to go that way, but I know it will for a lot of people. And I wanted to share some strategies to minimize the amount of damage we may induce on our bodies uh, so we can actually practice thankfulness and gratitude and be more present for the people in our lives. And I wanted to emphasize that my reason for wanting to share this type of information, on one hand, on a superficial level, I could say it's about weight loss or preventing weight gain and, um, you know, something like that. But really, my main interest in this is that I just like having full capacity of my mind and clear thinking. And I find that when I put a bunch of garbage in my system and eat too much and drink too much and my insulin sensitivity goes way down, that uh, I just don't function on a mental level as well. And I have a lot of things to take care of on a daily basis that I really, uh, rely on my mental faculties to be highly functional. So for those of you who are interested in not tossing that out the window through creating mass amounts of systemic inflammation throughout the body that is inevitably going to go to your brain and create uh, mental thinking, cloudiness, these tips would be for you. So I'm going to start with my first number one tip in just minimizing the amount of um, gut damage and digestive issues you're going to cause yourself and weight gain as well is going to be to if you can practice intermittent fasting uh it's an incredible tool to resensitize your body to have good insulin sensitivity so that you're not just massively um spiking your insulin levels and and just putting on fat very quickly and that you're able, your body's able to actually recuperate from these mass binge eating sessions. And, uh, you know, this also allows one who, who does enjoy going a little bit crazy to, to partake and enjoy themselves uh, with, while minimizing the damage. So intermittent fasting is a practice of essentially, you know, fasting for uh, a period of time and then eating all your calories and food in a small window, you know choose like a eight hour window is usually the preferred preference. And I like to be in that, you know, we're sleeping, we're fasting from the time we go to bed till the time we wake, you're already at a long starting fast right then and there. And then to just basically extend that as long as possible into the day is a great way to have your body be prepared to handle the mass amount of calories you're going to put into it. So I really enjoy the intermittent fasting model. I'm actually in a fasted state right now. I told myself I wouldn't allow myself to eat breakfast unless I finished making this intermittent fasting video um, and these tips on the holidays. So moving forward, uh, I like to add to this intermittent fasting strategy by doing a fasted cardio. And I will add to that strategy by doing waking up and doing what I say a fasted caffeinated cardio because your body is actually gonna burn more calories if you're consuming caffeine, you're in a fasted state, and you're doing some cardio. You don't have to be crazy. You don't have to like kill yourself, but um, you know, a good half hour of cardio, it could be light cardio. You know, just break a sweat, break a small sweat. Any type of cardio, any cardio you enjoy, bike riding, step machine, uh, running, whatever, whatever you enjoy doing, uh, do that in a fasted state with some caffeine in your system and you will maximize the amount of calories you're burning. You're giving your body and your digestive system a rest in order to uh, prepare or recuperate from yesterday's massive binge eating session. And uh, you'll also find that you'll have increased mental clarity during this time. So it's just a way for the body to just clean up whatever is in its system and process it out. Uh, the next tip I would say is while you're eating, you know, uh, if you're going to be eating a lot of stuff that you know isn't the best for you, like highly sugary foods or stuff with processed sugar in it, you know, take some activated charcoal with your meal and a shot of apple cider vinegar. That's a great tip for 
reducing the amount of digestive bloat and uh, also you know uh, something astringent like an apple cider vinegar is going to help cut the excess amounts of fatty foods that you will probably be consuming and those would be the first few tips that I have on reducing you know any kind of weight gain or mental cloudiness and just overall damage control on the body uh, for the holidays. So if you found that video useful, share this with a friend. Remember that the point of these holidays is to uh, you know, celebrate being together. And the best way to celebrate being together is to celebrate being with yourself and being happy with how you feel in yourself. And I personally find that very difficult to um, be in a good place to be around others if I'm feeling not the best myself. So with that, I uh, will be with you soon. Peace. One last really important and crucial tip I forgot to mention in that video is if you consume some caffeine with your gigantic uh, Thanksgiving meal or whenever you're gonna be eating a bunch of crap, you're gonna speed the amount of time that food is processed through your digestive system and the gastric emptying process. So this is a way to absorb less of the crap you're consuming if you're eating a bunch of processed food or things that you know aren't the best for you. So you don't absorb as much of it. Uh, therefore, you will inflict a fraction of the amount of inflammatory damage and mental cloudiness that you would receive if you weren't to do that. So something like coffee is a colon irritant and uh, will cause you to go to the bathroom. And so that would be the goal if you're consuming a bunch of stuff that you know shouldn't be in your body anyway. Uh, so that's a great tip and it will also speed the metabolism and really increase your digestion.